Well, greetings again, Blade fans. And welcome to a review of actually some smaller knives that I happen to like. As much as I'm always touting how I am a fan of larger blades, and I am, they're sort of my preference. But, you know, there's times when a smaller blade is easy to carry and very handy. So, I have these five, and um, I'll go through them one at a time. I sort of left them in the half cock position here that I used for my thumbnail photo. Let me begin with the brightest of the bunch, handle color at least. This is the Wee Banter, and this is a sub three inch, just sub three inch blade of S35VN. Can pick them up for about 108, 110. It's got, um, I believe, steel liners. Yeah, steel liners. And uh, comes in several bright G10 colors, or I think an all blacked out version. By the way, each of these blades here has its own independent review, individual review, on my channel. So you need to know more size, weight, measurements other characteristics, then feel free to pull up those vids and look them over. But um, the Wee Banter, ergonomically friendly, thumb studs only, running on bearings, very smooth. A knife this size is seldom if ever drop shutty. Not that you need that. Opens and closes like a charm. Deep carry clip, lovely. And what did they do? They recessed the clip into the handle scales and they recessed the screws. Oh, God bless you, Wee. Great job. You got to do it on the rest of them now. Um, only problem, it's right hand only. And I know some people will write me here and say, oh, you missed that. Uh, it's really left hand. I'm not seeing it. Sorry. Ain't seeing it. Got two screws there. Only got one screw there. Got a nice uh, lanyard hole. It is a handy dandy little item. You could even carry it on a keychain. It's that small. I wouldn't. I'd carry it deep in the pocket or deep in the pocket clip. Very nice, um, useful EDC blade. Spear point is what I call it. You want to call it a drop point? That's fine. But because it evens out like that, I'm kind of calling it a spear point. High grind and um, bead blast finish. We logo on the side. Just about all you could ask for if you need a small EDC. Hide right in your hand. But yet, plenty of thickness, wide open back, etc., etc. A lot of people love the Wee Banter. It was very popular when it first came out. And they're finally available across the board. Jumping to another brand. How about the Hogue Deca? Very nicely done. Little bit of branding there. And uh, their version of an axis lock. Roll it out easily. like that. Pull down, snap it out. Tends to bounce though. Snap it back. This is one of the few knives where you've got that axis lock uh, set up where you can pull one side at a time. There's no binding. Pressure is equal across that lock without having to pinch back on both sides. I think that's a great thing. This one's the blacked out version. Yes, it has a lanyard hole. Got some nice texturing in the G10. It is an Allen Elishowitz design. And it is made from CPM 20CV. Yes, verifying that. There you go. In Lishwich design. Very interesting Warncliffe 
kind of a modified Warncliffe uh, design on this one. You can get it in a standard drop point as well, I believe, and you can also get this in multiple handle colors and blade finishes. And again, uh, it is thumb stud only, but you do have the option of flicking it out by releasing the locks. And pardon me, yes, it's the Able Lock. I was going to look it up, but they're calling it the Able Lock. So that's cool. And A-B-L-E does stand for something. It's an acronym. I don't recall what it is. I'm sure many of you do. And that's a cool thing. Only thing I don't care for on this knife is that it should have a deep carry clip for a nice small knife like this. Um, I am told that some of the ZT clips will fit with that double screw, but they'll sit up on top. This is an interchangeable clip, ambidextrous. Remove that plate and those screws. Pop the clip over to the other side. So that part is very nice. I wish one day they would make an aftermarket clip, maybe by Hogue, that would give you the deep carry option. Would be nice. So, the Hogue Decca Warncliffe variety. Just grabbing them as I see them. Here we have an interesting knife from Spiderco. Got a cheat. So, the Spiderco is the Aikuchi. Had to pause for a minute and cheat and look it up. And it is a design by Paul Alexander, who has designed multiple amazing pocket knives, such as the Spyderco Auroboros, Silver Axe, and Parada. Kind of cool. So the interesting thing about the Aikuchi is it's a compression lock. It is extremely lightweight with a slender little blade and has that interesting spidey hole there. Some people have fooled around and put a little lock through there saying that's the safety for it. I don't know that that was the intent, but look at, you can see clear through. The clip is deep carry-ish. It's a wire clip, it can be moved from side to side. It is um, a carbon fiber on top of G10 laminate. Not liked by some folks, I don't mind. It gives a nice texture, kind of semi-smooth. And the opening method, very cool. Probably one of the fastest flippers <laughs> you will ever find. Blade completely flush with the handle. The first go round, this is the Gen 2, first go round the point was a little high. People were picking it up. It was a problem. There are many knives where that's a problem. And it was for this one on the first gen. Uh, that's been resolved, and it's uh, no longer an issue, at least not for me. Um, there is um, a standoff on the end that possibly could be used as a lanyard attachment point. And again, it's a very interesting opening method. Uh, has a name. Let's see if we can get the name. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, but Mr. Alexander is uh, in the business of what's called mechanical engineering. Been a fan of knives his whole life. And the, I don't know if he has a name. Anyway, it's considered to be a Santoku shape. The Aikuchi. The Aikuchi is a Japanese name. Um, not sure if he's got a name for that wheel. You may know what the name is. I don't. So this is where I can get educated by my viewers. Now that we're over a thousand, I got more people pitching in. And that's a good thing. I do not claim to know everything by any means. I use the knowledge I have at hand. I gain a little bit of knowledge with each knife and uh, share that with you folks. You may or may not have this knife. It's a very light one. 
Uh, love the blade shape. If you're looking for a lightweight EDC knife, certainly can't go wrong with this. Uh, compression lock will close fully with just that one release. And again, you can get all the specs and details on the individual review of each knife. Here's one you don't see too often. I recently did a review on this. And um, this is an interesting knife by Mr. James Williams, who is a sword master and uh, Japanese martial arts tactics master, so on and so forth. It is the Hisatsu 2, which you can clearly see through the billboarding. And interesting thing about this knife, it is an assisted knife that can be de-assisted. And that can be de-assisted through one screw releases the spring, which is a single rod, goes through that hole and can be withdrawn through that hole. You therefore then have no more spring in the knife. And there is a detent that'll hold it closed. And I believe the kanji characters on the side do have something to do with the name, the Hisatsu. It's a three inch knife, thumb disc opening, fits flush in the hand and has that elongated Hisatsu style blade that uh, James is known for with his uh, design by Cricut. And again, this is a Cricut knife. I um, believe the steel is nothing special. I'm thinking it's like Aus 8, something like that. Nothing fancy. Nice flattened thumb disc on the top. Very easy to open. Very concealable. And a deep carry clip. And, you know, this goes back a ways. Maybe five years or so, maybe more. And look at that. A recessed clip with countersunk screws. Beautiful. Last and certainly not least, we have the ZT0770. And the 0770 is a classic design by ZT, parent company Kershaw. Uh, this one's an S35VN. I believe this might be the 0770CF because of the carbon fiber handles on both sides. Very light in construction. Pure carbon fiber. I was going to say pure carbon fiber on one side. Oh, we may as well check. I can never remember. No. Embedded steel liners with carbon fiber overlays. Still a lightweight knife. Nice jimping. Not a bad EDC. Has that interesting drop point, almost worn cliff kind of look to it. Um, that's been echoed through other knife designs throughout the ZT line. Um, you may know the numbers better than me. I don't have a whole lot of ZT knives. I've got a few. Um, this one saw a lot of carry in the office back in the day. Very discreet, deep carry clip, except for the branding on the clip, but you, know, you can get other clips. You can even take a little bit of uh, solvent and take that ZT off of there, I would suppose, but you might take some of the black coating off of that clip as well. Or just get a titanium clip, as I've done for a few other ZT knives. Um, Minimum branding, pretty much, ZT, um, there is a lot there, yeah, it is the 0770CF, uh, and there's a serial number on it. 
about a three and a quarter inch blade, um, handy little knife. Um, you could probably, if you worked at it, de-assist it. I have no need, if I buy an assisted knife, I'm going to use it as an assisted knife and it fires like a firecracker. Crazy. Um, clip is transferable to the left side, which is nice. And does have a lanyard pin, a barrel there at the end. Some real neat kind of suspended backspacer, jimped G10, I believe, backspacer. And again, I'm not going to get too into it. Uh, ergos, for me, are great. For a small knife, I can get a hell of a purchase on that. And a really nice pivot pin on both sides. And you see that on a few of the ZTs. Oh, let's bring them all back out for an encore. 0770. The oh God, gotta look. His Hatsu too. The able locking Deca by Hogue. How about that? Remember that. We banter. You can always remember that one. And the Aikuchi Spiderco Paul Alexander design. See, all I need is a little refresher. So, what's my message? I like these small knives. Some of the best out of the bunch of small knives I have, and I have a very small bunch. As again, I tend to gravitate towards the larger blades, whether that's like a four inch, five inch, what have you. I think my sweet spot's probably around 3.75 to four inches. But again, if you need a small knife, check these guys out. Give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll keep mentioning this. We're going to have our giveaway for a thousand subscribers pretty soon. We've already reached the mark. Once we're a little further over and uh, I line out a few things to give away, we will do exactly that and you'll hear about it. Be well, this old sword, signing out.